Welcome back to the College Center Fire. I'm Cindy Hatfield, and today we will be reviewing Smallfoot, the fifth film to come out of Warner Ani Animation Group. This film started Channing Tatum as the lead character Migo, as well as Zendaya, Common, LeBron James, and James Corden, as well as Danny v DeVito, among many other stars. It's definitely a star-studded cast, to say the least. It was directed by Carrie Kirkpatrick and Jason Reisig. Joining me to talk about the film is Ian Cadleck. Smallfoot is a film about Migo, a yeti who is the son of a gong ringer, a very important member of their society, and he's next in line. The yeti society is based on a set of stones that tells them what is true and how the world works and the stones are interpreted by the stone keeper. Just when Migo is preparing to take his father's place as the gong ringer, he discovers a human, or a smallfoot, which has only been talked about in legend. When he tries to tell his village about what he saw, he is banished, but soon finds himself within a secret society of smallfoot believers. Migo's journey down to land below to prove smallfoots exist so he can come back to the village this is where he meets Percy, a zoologist with an educational TV program that is struggling for views. Through a language barrier, Migo incidentally kidnaps Percy and the story kicks off from there. All right, so one of the first things that I want to say about this, um, I didn't know it was a musical going in, and so when they broke out into song, I was like... <sighs> yeah, I wasn't totally sure about that. Uh, like I said, uh, if it has Zendaya in it, I think there's a 60% chance it's a musical. <laughs> but I, I really enjoyed the music. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was just like I wasn't expecting it. And I feel like I kind of have to be in the mood for, the, for a musical. So the fact that, like, I didn't know, I was just kind of like, ah, oh, darn it. But it, it, it actually did have some really good music. Common, had, um, he's kind of... Uh, well, he has this really good song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, it's he plays, really good. He plays the stonekeeper, and mm -hmm. so he's like the village elder. And uh, he play, he plays the stonekeeper, so he's like the village elder. And he's got a part where he's explaining to Migo like the history of all of the Eddies, and it it's the song is really good. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was it was really nice. What did you think about some of the uh, themes within the movie? It, w it went surprisingly deep. Like, so when you look at, like, the animation style and, like, the character designs, you're like, eh, it's just, like, some kids' film. But, like, for a kids' film, it goes weirdly deep. It kind of has this, like, undertone about, right, like, religion and, like, you know, questioning things. And, uh, like, it really gets into it. And I, I really, I liked it yeah, a lot. Yeah, it, it caught me off guard, and I was, I was... I wasn't sure if it was a musical, but when the first song starts about to just conform and push down all your feelings, and if you have any questions, just don't say them, I was like, oh, okay, this is, pr this is pretty funny. And then, it, and then it continues, and they learn the truth about what's going on, and, and it was just, I, I really liked it. Like, it was just an interesting spin on, like, what they could have just, what could have just been a generic kids movie about Yetis. Yeah, and, like, there's this one part where Danny DeVito, the dad, like, he kind of has, like, um, a moment where he has, like, a crisis, like, mm -hmm. a, he's yeah. like, what, what is my <laughs> life? And that was, I thought that was actually, like, they didn't, like, really go into that, but I still thought it was, like, actually, like, pretty compelling. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and one of the, or, so this, movie doesn't have like a villain per se like sure you know there's an antagonist but like I like that it didn't it wasn't just like ah this is a bad guy because he's a bad guy <laughs> like the villain so to speak he has his own reason for things yeah and like I mean you know you may not agree with like his reasoning but you at least understand where he's coming from yeah and I think it's also fair to say that um Within the movie, there's not, like you were saying, there's not really like a true villain because uh, when the Yeti first meets the s humans, the Smallfoot, um, it's just there's it, it's just purely misinterpretation because they can't they can't speak to each other, mm -hmm. and so one of them starts moving around and they think that the other one's attacking, and so they like freak out, and then it just kind of snowballs into other like misunderstandings. Yeah, and I like how they kind of. You know, they, they don't, like, use sign language or anything, but they have to use, like, hand signals to start and communicate with each other. So it's kind of funny watching them do that. Mm -hmm, yeah. For sure. But overall rating, uh, I mean, I think 
I give this like a four out of five. Yeah, for sure. Like four to five. It was really enjoyable and uh, I got more than I expected going in. For sure. And the music was really good. Uh, the cast was really good. Uh, my yes. only complaint is that Danny DeVito didn't get a song, but <laughs> I guess I can deal with that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy the review. Tell us what you thought about Smallfoot in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time right here on the College Cinephile.